Welcome to Quick Trips, where I take a look at a game I've been playing and tell you what you need to know in five minutes or less. Today we'll be looking at a short hike. Let's get started, shall we? Let's get this part out of the way first. I'm an absolute sucker for just about any exploration focused game that allows flying or gliding, so I pretty much loved a short hike the moment I started playing. That said, I'll do my best to give an overview of what the game is like so you can make your own decision. A Short Hike is one of the rare games that knows exactly what kind of experience it wants to give and just focuses on that. Starting up the game, you're set loose on an island. The only goal you're given is to eventually get to the top. In a way, a short hike is the perfect subject for a video format like this since the game itself can be completed in only a couple hours. A short hike manages to create an atmosphere instantly relatable to anyone dealing with life in the modern era. You're supposed to be taking a vacation, but your mind just won't let go of the rest of the world. Expecting an important call, your goal is to get to the top of the island, the only place where you can get cell reception. While the plot is there, it really isn't focused into the game itself, and is limited to some dialogue you encounter here and there. The graphics are pretty simple, but work fine for this type of game. Just don't expect any awe-inspiring visuals. One thing that stood out was the pixel setting. The game uses simple 3D graphics that are run through a pixelized filter, and you can adjust the size of the pixels. It's pretty unique, but really doesn't look that great on a larger screen in my opinion. I love pixel art, but I don't think that particular aesthetic works well here. The low res poly look with the pixel texture turned down is the ideal way to play in my opinion. As far as the gameplay goes, in an interview with CanadianGameDevs.com, developer Adam Robinson Yu mentioned Breath of the Wild and Animal Crossing as two big influences in the development of the game, and that is certainly apparent. In fact, it was pretty much my first impression on playing it. Honestly, there isn't that much more to say about the gameplay. There's no combat to evaluate, no crafting or building to worry about, no sim elements to manage. The controls are fine. The innovation in a short hike doesn't come from excitement or immersive systems. It's just a game about going out and exploring to take your mind off of things. Sure, there's little side quests and extra activities here and there, but the core gameplay is centered purely around exploring the island. If that kind of game doesn't interest you, then nothing I say going forward will likely change your mind. Exploration, though, is something the game does very well. If you decide to go somewhere on the island, you're left following signs or just moving in that direction and hoping for the best. And that is the strongest point of the gameplay. Once you've forgotten where you were supposed to be heading because you got distracted by some fish to catch, and then saw a chest on top of a lighthouse you wanted to try to fly to, now you're playing a short hike as intended. In the same Canadian game devs interview mentioned above, Robinson Yu talked about his goals in making the game. A short hike is a personal game to me. For a while, I've wanted to make a game that was meaningful to me and hopefully to other people as well. When I started a short hike, I was feeling kind of worn down and I was anxious about a lot of things, and I still am. I wanted a short hike to be loosely about coping with anxiety and self-doubt, appreciating nature, and, with regards to the ending, how your relationship with your parents changes as you get older. As a working adult, sometimes it's nice to find a game that doesn't expect you to devote your life to it or try to compel you to play for hours at a time. I think that's one of this game's biggest strengths. The title of this game perfectly describes how it feels to play it. If you're in the mood for a relaxing experience, check this one out. You won't regret it. Now, excuse me, I've got some flying to do.